2009, the U.S. wind industry installed 10,010 megawatts MW, of generating capacity, breaking U.S. installation records for the third year in a row. Wind power represented 39% of all U.S. electric generation capacity additions for the year. According to the American Wind Energy Association, the wind capacity added in 2009 generates enough electricity to power the equivalent of 2.4 million homes, the generation capacity of three large nuclear power plants. The entire wind turbine fleet in place at year's end, more than 35,000 megawatts, was enough to power the equivalent of nearly 10 million homes. The wind power capacity will avoid an estimated 62 million tons of carbon dioxide CO2 emissions annually, equivalent to taking 10.5 million cars off the road, and we will conserve about 20 billion gallons of water each year that would otherwise be drawn for steam or cooling in conventional power plants. The renewable energy industry creates thousands of long-term high-technology careers in wind turbine component manufacturing, construction and installation, maintenance and operations, legal and marketing services, transportation and logistical services, and more. In 2009, the wind sector invested $17 billion in the U.S. economy and employed 85,000 workers. A modern wind turbine has more than 8,000 component parts. To supply this market, 39 manufacturing facilities were brought online, announced or expanded in 2009, bringing the total number of wind turbine component manufacturing facilities now operating in the United States to more than 200. Over half the wind power generating capacity added in 2009 was installed in Texas, Indiana, and Iowa. Texas is home to the Roscoe Wind Plant, the world's largest wind generation plant. After a construction period of just over two years, Roscoe has 627 wind turbines with an installed capacity of 780 megawatts that can generate electricity for more than 230,000 homes. 36 states now have commercial wind energy systems installed. Arizona inaugurated its first large-scale wind plant, the 64-megawatt Dry Lake Wind Power Project. The market for small wind turbines, rated capacity of less than 100 kilowatts, grew by 15% in 2009, adding 20 megawatts of generating capacity to the nation. Seven small wind turbine manufacturing facilities were opened, announced, or expanded in 2009. A national strategy. The DOE Wind Program leads the federal government's efforts to expand domestic wind energy capacity. According to the 20% Wind Energy by 2030 report, supplying 20% of our nation's electric demand with wind energy by 2030 is technically feasible and would reduce greenhouse gas emissions, create jobs, stimulate economic activity, and reduce water use. Generating 20% of the nation's electricity from wind would require increasing the nation's wind generating capacity from today's 35 gigawatts, GW, to 300 gigawatts of capacity over the next 20 years. The report found that achieving 20% wind energy by 2030 would provide significant economic and environmental benefits, including roughly 500,000 jobs in the United States with an annual average of more than 150,000 workers directly employed by the wind industry. More than 100,000 jobs in associated industries, for example, steelworkers, electrical manufacturing, accountants, and lawyers. More than 200,000 jobs through economic expansion based on local spending. An increase in annual property tax revenues to more than 1.5 billion by 2030 an increase in annual payments to rural landowners of more than 600 million in 2030. Avoidance of approximately 825 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions in the electric sector. A reduction in water consumption by 4 trillion gallons in the electric sector. The report also identified major challenges along the path to a 20% wind scenario. The nation's institutions need to Invest in the nation's transmission system so that the electricity generated by wind power can be delivered to urban centers that need the increased supply. Develop larger electric load-bearing areas in tandem with better regional planning so that regions can depend on a diversity of generation sources, including wind power. Grow the manufacturing supply chain to remedy the current shortage in wind turbines and components and provide jobs. Continue to reduce capital cost. 
and improve the performance of wind turbines through technology advancement and improved domestic manufacturing capabilities. Address potential concerns about local siting, wildlife, and environmental issues within the context of wind-generated electricity. To meet these challenges, the WIND program works to improve the cost, performance, and reliability of land-based and offshore wind technologies. The program also addresses barriers to wind energy's rapid market expansion such as electrical transmission and integration, manufacturing, project siting, and public and market acceptance. This work is conducted through cost share agreements with industry and agencies such as DOE's Office of Electricity Delivery and Energy Reliability, Transmission and Distribution Industry Groups, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Department of Defense, and the Department of the Interior's Mineral Management Service. Cooperative research and development is performed with the International Energy Agency, Academia, and DOE's National Laboratories. The WIND program focuses specialized technical expertise comprehensive design and analysis tools, and unique testing facilities on addressing technology challenges, improving wind technology and facilitating grid interconnection, and market barriers, permitting, siting, radar, and environmental impacts. A key question in this era of increasing demand for clean energy supplies is, how much electricity can wind energy contribute? A new wind resource assessment recently released by DOE finds that the contiguous 48 states have the potential to generate up to 37 million gigawatt hours of electricity from wind annually. By comparison, total U.S. electricity generation from all sources was roughly 4 million gigawatt hours in 2009. Although U.S. wind energy capacity has increased from about 2.5 gigawatts in 2000 to 35 gigawatts by the end of 2009, it still only produces about 2% of our nation's electrical energy. The wind program helps industry tap this vast renewable resource to provide a greater portion of our nation's electricity needs.